Hey, what is up guys, Nellis here from Nuxtech and in this video I will review Lenovo Tab 11 Pro. I have been using this tablet for more than two months now and to be honest, even though there are some small drawbacks and imperfections, I think the value you get from this tablet is pretty decent and totally worth its price. But let's start everything from beginning. Inside the box of Lenovo 11 Pro you'll find a 20 w charger, USB Type-C cable, a manual book and a microSD ejection pin. I have additionally bought a special Lenovo magnetic keyboard, so I will also share some thoughts on that at the end of the video. Also, if you like high quality tech video reviews like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel and without further ado, let's keep going. The overall build quality of this 11.5 inches tablet is really solid. It's made of sturdy aluminum alloy and on hands it feels like a premium and high-end machine. You can actually compare this quality directly to the flagship level Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and that's already a high benchmark. When it comes to the design, I really like this simple modern look with some nice craftsmanship details. The narrow screen frame gives you a proper vibe of 2021, all the physical buttons on the side are solid, so if I had to give some evaluation for this part, I would definitely give the score 10 out of 10. The Nova Tab 11 Pro comes with a 2.5K resolution OLED display, and if you have seen some other reviews, you might have heard controversial information regarding this pentile type screen. Well, from my own 2 month experience, I can only say that I didn't have any problems while browsing on social media, reading articles or watching a Netflix. Yes, if you literally put your face on that display, you can see some pixels going in the pen tile pattern instead of liner, but still, you can easily read even the smaller fonts with no issues. Playing games as well as watching movies is nothing but pleasure on this 11.5 inches tablet. The only negative point I have noticed regarding this screen is a rolling shutter when you scroll faster. As you can see from this video, it gives you some kind of jelly effect, which is not what I would expect, but at the same time it's not really a deal breaker. The quad speakers of this Lenovo Tab 11 Pro are really great. You will find two speakers from each side, which are tuned by JBL and well, we really sound clear and well balanced. Here are some audio test samples so you can judge it yourself. Now let's talk more about the battery and charging times. On average I was getting somewhere between 8 to 10 hours of mixed usage time, while the charging with 20 watts power adapter included in the box takes a bit more than 2.5 hours. So yeah, once I had my tablet charged I was having plenty of juice for upcoming 3 to 4 days, so that's great. At this you can also use Lenovo Tab 11 Pro as a power bank as it supports OTG reverse charging and that's a nice and handy feature, right? When it comes to the user experience and interface there are quite a few things I have noticed. First of all, the fingerprint scanner on the power button is not very accurate. Usually it takes me at least two attempts to unlock the device and add to this, the face ID is not the fastest one. It takes some time to recognize my smile, but at the end of the day it works. The Nova Tab 11 Pro is powered by a Snapdragon 730G, 6 gigs of RAM and it also comes with a 128 gigs of internal memory, which can be expanded with a microSD card. Navigating through a menu, settings and different apps feels pretty snappy and general multitasking is not a problem. Of course, you shouldn't expect to match the speed of flagship tablets due to a mid-range processor and for your reference, on the N22 benchmark Lenovo scored a bit more than 340 thousands. 
If you're considering buying this tablet as a work tool in order to open side-by-side -side several windows or tabs, you can enable productivity mode on the settings menu and basically what it does, it gives you a light version of desktop mode, something similar to the Samsung DeX. It helps in multitasking, especially if you plug the tablet to the bigger external display and connect the Bluetooth mouse and Bluetooth keyboard. This setup would be perfect for some light tasks including emails, general browsing, working with Word, Excel, PowerPoint files and so on. What I didn't like about this productivity mode that not all the apps support a full screen window, so I hope with future software updates it will be fixed. Now what about the gaming performance? Well, Lenovo Tab 11 Pro obviously is capable to run AAA titles, however with some limitations. For PUBG Mobile you can only select up to HD graphics at 30fps or lower down to balance graphic in order to achieve a more pleasant 45fps. Well, in theory with the third party apps I could also unlock 60fps and enjoy higher graphics, however it would become more choppy and also it would be illegal, right? But anyways, the other games that I have tested can run pretty smooth, I really like testing GTA San Andreas in a way that I even spent an hour completing some missions. And when I realized I need to go back to work and finish this video review. Novotab 11 Pro has a both dual and front rear cameras, which are really nothing special and might be considered as one of the drawbacks. To be honest, I haven't actually used the rear camera only for testing purposes, meanwhile the selfie camera I have used quite a few times for my video calls with family and uh, it wasn't that bad. Way better than cheaper no-name tablets, but at the same time there are a lot of room for improvement. Finally, a few words about this additional magnetic Lenovo keyboard. In general, I really like it for faster typing experience and productivity. The main keys are full size, meaning it is really comfortable and easy to type. Overall quality of keyboard is fine, it is lightweight and due to the magnets, it can be easily attached and removed within seconds. I'm not the biggest fan of a pretty tiny integrated trackpad and I would prefer connecting my Bluetooth mouse instead. The nice thing about this accessory is that it also works as a tablet protective case and the soft material finish on the outside feels nice and premium. But yeah, this Lenovo keyboard is not the cheapest one, priced over 120 US dollars, but it might be really helpful for those who travel and need more comfortable typing solution. So taking all things into consideration, I would give a final score 8 out of 10 for this Lenovo Tab 11 Pro. For a price of 400 bucks, you actually get a very good package. A solid 11.5 inches OLED display, mid-range performance of Snapdragon 730G, well-balanced quad speakers tuned by JBL, premium build quality, microSD card slot, up to 10 hours of battery time and an option to buy some great accessories, such as a magnetic keyboard. From the other side, if you're looking for a flagship performance, a best gaming tablet, best powerhouse with a well-optimized desktop mode, you should better look at the latest Samsung Galaxy Tab lineup, however it will be at least twice as expensive as my reviewed Lenovo model. As always, I'll leave all the links and the best discount codes in the description area below, so don't forget to check them and save some extra. And that is it! Let me know what you guys think about this Lenovo tablet in the comment section below and if you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more high quality tech reviews. Thanks for watching, it was Nellis from Nuxtech and I'll see you next time.